I know he didn't need to make birdie, but I'm telling you right now, it smells and feels so darn tootin' good. back to another GM golf video. A little story time before we get into the rest of this video. Me, Micah, Matt, Steven are all down on the range here at Purcell Farms. Obviously, Micah's still down on the range right now. I'm hitting behind this guy in a gray pullover right over there. I just noticed he was striping it. He was hitting it really well. I was like, this guy's probably around a scratch golfer. So I walk over to Micah and I'm like, hey, what are the odds that you go up to this random guy that you've never met and challenge him to a nine hole match? So I walk over to Micah. I said, what are the odds? He said one in 10. So I said one, two, three. He said six. I said four. And the way we play what are the odds is if it adds up to the number 10, then you have to cut it in half. So now the what are the odds was one and five. And so I said one, two, three, Micah said three, I said three, Micah lost the what are the odds bet, and then he had to go up and challenge this random guy to a match. Let's roll the clip, then let's get into the video. What's going on, man? How you doing? Good. You got a tea time today? I don't, I'm trying to get What What are the chances you would want to play me in a, in a nine hole match? In a nine hole match? You down? Yeah, I'm always down. Very nice, nice to meet you. Man. Yeah, see what I can do under pressure. Yeah. We'll get out there and just battle it out, see what happens. All right, guys, we're hopping right into this match. We're going to be playing the front nine. I'm going to be caddying for Micah in today's match. And then we have JT, a random guy in the range that Micah just challenged to a match. Matt will be caddying for him. Guys, we're going to get right into it. Hopefully, you do enjoy. Let's go. Hey guys, we're starting here on hole one, which is a par five. Dog leg right, probably like 500 yards or so. The fairways are pretty wet in today's conditions. It's going to be landing soft. We're going to be playing it up with clean plays. Micah, we're going to say his handicap is around scratch. And then JT over here, we're going to say his handicap's around three. So JT will be getting a shot on number two, four, and number five. Matt, you're his caddy. My, pl you my player's not going to need it. You know, I've been, I've, been, I've been out on that range and I've been dialed in a little bit. I've been watching my player hit some golf shots and he's putting it in there within three, four feet. And I just, unfortunately, I feel You're bad for nice. Tig. You're no, way too nice. I'm telling you, I feel bad for Tig in this situation. You know, you were striping down in the middle of the range and, and Tig, he, he's so used to hitting that hosel shank on his club. It's just, it's going to be an unfortunate loss. So we're going to be staying dialed in. So I hope you are too, okay? Because you're gonna need it. I'm excited. It's gonna be good. Flip T or C C O T. Flip a T or C goes first. Yeah, yeah. All right. So they're gonna flip T to see who goes first, guys. We're just gonna dive right in. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. All right. That's what we want. Oh. I mean, that's that's how we drew it up. Essentially, that's what we were talking about right there. Micah, good luck. That's what we were talking about. See, why am I why am I giving him? <laughs> what a like good said, ball. You don't have to. <laughs> That's not arrogance. I promise it's not arrogance. I just, you know, you don't have to. Micah, you're going to have like to shoot it. six under now. I know. You know the play. Up the right side. I don't even need to tell you. Honestly, I'm not going to be doing too much caddy work in today's video. There it is. Two super to solid base, tee folks. shots. Wow. This is going to be an intense match. It's going to be intense. I'm, I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm ready. Matt and I are obviously the caddies in today's challenge. You've never met this guy until I've never, I've never none of us have. Him. Right. This is a brand new experience for me. I mean, I've seen his game a little bit on the range, and I just saw him strike that. And I feel like we're not going to have to do too much talking. It's going to be more or less of just like maybe giving him a hint on what to do on some of these shots. I don't know. He's played this course a lot, so he's got that going for him. So, Dude, and I'm like so impressed. Like I could tell he was really nervous. Probably the first time he's ever hit golf shots on YouTube. Take challenge to golf coach, and I love that. That's, he outdrove Micah. Dude, he outdrove Micah, guys. Yeah, Micah, you just got outdrove. I know, on the first hole. I have no expectations today. That's what I, that's what I, my, you know, thought process going into this. You guys expect like two, to win. I'm planning on winning. <laughs> that's no doubt in my mind. All right, four. Right. Matt's getting a dialed in yardage for JT here. Two. We got 235 to the pin. Uh, we're gonna have to decide whether or not we want to get a little aggressive here, because that bunker uh, potentially could be in play, but I think it's a back pin. I think he can kind of just get after this one. I think we're going four iron. Four iron? Good call. Oh. That's a good call. I think it's all right. I think yeah. it's short of the bunker. Hey, Micah, how far do we got here? It's, a, it's like 240. I'm just saying center of the green, even front of the green with that pin. I think you aim at the pin, and if it draws a little too much, it draws a little too much. All right. 
short. I think it could have been all every bit of three, guys. Dude, I hit that right at it. I thought that was Dude, oh my. Uh, before we get into the rest of the video, I kind of been saying this in our last few matches because most of the time we talk a bunch, but in today's video, I feel like the players are not going to be talking too much. This is JT's first time on camera, and honestly, he's doing a really good job. So, shout out to JT. I'll find his Instagram link in the description down below. Micah, as well, obviously probably won't be talking as much because he's trying to focus up and win this match. This is going to get pretty competitive, I would assume. Also, if you guys didn't already know this, I upload three times a week golf content, and every Sunday, Mike and I have competitive matches that we premiere at 5 p.m. Central Time. So if you guys want to hit the subscribe button, it would mean a lot. It is an option. Also, if you guys haven't hit the like button already for this crazy match, that would also be very much appreciated. Let's get right back to it. Micah hit it in this bunker right here, just short of the green. But I love this bunker shot. It's straightforward. Yeah. I, I mean, honestly, guys, I think he's going to try and aim out there. It might spin a little right, if anything. Oh, he's got this to get up and down for birdie. That's so good. Let's go. Wow. You know what? Good That's shot. how we drew it up, folks. JT's got a really good look here. Mike is going 56 here. Go. Go. All right. We got that like a birdie. All right. So Micah went in the bunker, but luckily he did get out, and he's given himself a look at birdie here. Ooh. That was a little nerve-wracking putt there. I don't think that Micah liked that. A little, little out there. JT to win the hole now. <laughs> JT from about five feet away here. Didn't hit it. Oh my goodness. Didn't hit it. All right, well, par on the first hole for JT. He gave Micah a little door opening here. All square after one. This is intense. All square. On to hole two here. JT still has a tee box um, from number one. I tied the first hole. Guys, hole two here is a par four straight away. Pretty short, pretty simple. You just kind of want to hit driver bombs away. JT gets a shot on this hole. Oh, especially when he hits it like that. Good ball. Wow. Nice. Give us a good look at the green there. Yeah. Right side of the fairway. Absolutely bombed that one, folks. Trying to kind of follow him on that line, maybe a tad left of it. A little right. Be okay. Micah just hit that in the right rough. Um, if he got a good bounce, he could possibly be in the fairway. He's kind of headed at those right trees. I think he's got an opportunity here, and I hope he does because JT hit that one straight down the fairway. Guys, I don't know what we were thinking about giving JT three shots. Him saying he's a three handicapper. I mean, if Micah, honestly, like he can come out here, Micah can shoot three unders. Micah's definitely not out of it, even though he's given three shots. I got 78 yards, I think, to the pin. It's pretty simple. I mean, I say I carry it three feet short. Maybe a little short, if anything but guys this is what he's looking at Micah is in a pretty good spot so literally couldn't hit it better I yes I love you JT gets a shot on this hole though. I mean I for sure have to make that in order to even have a chance all right JT here just in the right side he knows exactly where to aim this he's gonna put this in within three feet and we're gonna make birdie and we're gonna get out of here Ooh, a little short. We got lucky. We're putting yeah. though. We're putting. Dang, that was right. That was our line. That was exactly where we wanted to put that thing. That was clutch. That was clutch by Micah. He's going to make this now. This is what we like to see. He's just off the green here, about 15, 20 feet actually. Looked a little closer than he was. Micah here, three feet straight up the hill. I think this is definitely a makeable putt right here for sure. God, I'll tell you what, we needed about a foot or two feet, and that would have been. <laughs> We're trying to run it right over the top of it. This is makeable. Mike up the hill here for birdie. Nice. Ooh. Very nice. Good putt. Thank you. So after the second hole of the day, matches all square because JT got a shot on that hole. Par, net birdie, Micah made birdie there. On a hole three, which is drivable for both of these guys today. They could probably almost carry it on the green if I had to guess. The right side of the left bunker. Okay. And in the fairway, and you'll have yourself a nice little wedge in. All right. So there's the strategy, guys. He's gonna keep it up the left side. This is what hole number three looks like. About 330 yards today. Oh, it's gonna be right of it. It's gonna be right of it. Yeah, right. Not bad. Yeah. of the bunker. Driver? I think driver for sure. Dead straight. It's gonna be short, but I wanted to be on that side of the hole. Shot. It's a little humid today. The ball's not carrying very far. 
Yeah, Mike has got about a 50 yard chip, 40 yard chip to the green. Pretty ideal location. JT ended up here on the right side of the fairway. He's kind of got a downhill lie. He's got to go up and over this bunker. He's probably going to be playing a 60 degree? Uh, or 56. 56. I like the strategy. The pin's kind of tucked behind there. And then Micah is going to be over here on the left side, just over this ridge, right there. And Mike has got a really good angle into the pin. So uh, JT's actually got a pretty tough shot. I dealt with something kind of similar yesterday when we played. The pin was a little more tucked than it is today. He's got a decent amount of green to work with. He's just gonna have to spin it in there. Matt? I'm standing on the ridge right now. Oh man, ideally you wanna land it. You wanna land it like right about here and let it roll down, but that's a that's not a very big gap. So anywhere from here and a little past, I think you'll be all right. Oh, oh no. no. We just caught that little thing. That would have been, that was right there though. That's what happens sometimes when you try and hit kind of a higher lofted shot. It's easy to lift up and hit that kind of shot. But Mike has got an opportunity now. 56 degree is the play. Honestly, I, I think he kind of landed about almost halfway there. It's going to stop pretty soft. Okay. Go. Actually, well, I just didn't carry it quite far enough, but it, it did exactly what we wanted to do. All right, this is for JTD. Get up and down for par. Oh man! Yeah. yeah, that was a shot though. That's what we had planned out. That's what we had cooking in the in the back oven on the burner with some spaghetti sauce. Turn it into burning, baby. Shut up. There's like a tiny little something right here. Yeah, you can kind of see exactly it. What I'm looking at. You can kind of see it behind the ball. I'll tell you one thing. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like it when they're working together instead of trying to play each other. It's kind of fun to watch. Love that intermediate target, folks. You love that intermediate target. He putted right over that little mark there. Good putt there. JT, I always say this. If you're going to make par bogey, it's better to lose on a birdie. There you have it. After hole number three, Micah with a really solid birdie there. Micah will go one up now on hole number four and five, which JT gets shot on both those holes. I take you want to aim for this bunker over here and hit it in. All right. All right. Totally fine. Thank you, advice. I don't even need to give you advice. Just stripe it down yeah. the middle of the fairway. <laughs> Straight away par four. We got water short of the green. Unreachable off the tee. Bombs away driver for both of them. Good ball. What a stick. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah, it's gonna work. It's actually a good side of the fairway to be on with that pin. What a shot. Yeah. Absolute stud. How do you feel about your uh, player my today? My player? Yeah. I picked a good player, you know. Me and JT go way back, man. You know, uh, we got a long history. JT all the way over here on the right side. Unfortunately, I already walked over to Mikey's ball. 180 yards to get this one on the green, folks. That was well struck. That's going left. Ooh, it's going on left. It's in the bunker. Is that in the bunker? Yeah. We think JT's in the bunker. He hit that one really solid. This guy honestly stripes it. Micah over here on the left side of the fairway, what we got? I have 167 yards and I don't have a 9 iron. I think 8 iron's a good play. I think so too. I'm going to bring it in from the right. Honestly, I don't even think you need to take much off of it. I think if anything, you just like swing 95%. Nope. Oh. Oh. That's such a good number. It's going to be in the bunker as well. Uh, just out of the bunker. That would have been perfect. I love that shot shape, guys. If you would have just started a little more right, we would have had a super good look at birdie. Honestly, I still like that chip shot, though. Yeah. I think you're still going to make that for bird. This is kind of what they're looking at. JT's in the bunker, as you can tell. And this is the pin location. Really tough spot. JT's actually not in the bunker, and neither is Micah. What's the deal here, folks? Uh, very hard. Yeah, <laughs> very, very tough. Hard. <laughs> this is, uh... This is about as tough as it gets right here. Well, Micah is out, so you guys get to watch the shot before you hit. Right. That's pretty solid. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's a tough shot. Move it out left here, just off the green, let it roll all the way down. That was it. Look at that. That's just about as good as you could do. It still rolls out to about the same distance. Micah's got to make and he's got to miss for Micah to tie the hole. Good. Wow, right up and down. Thanks. That was it. Just over that, that little. That was it, man. That was oh, well. That's tie hole, yeah? Yeah. Uh, okay. Micah remains 200 par and one up after hole number four. On hole number five, which is the straight downhill par three that you guys have already seen in a lot of our videos. That was honestly a pretty intense hole there. This is hole number five, 160 yards on the dot today. And I honestly never get tired of this hole. This is what it looks like if you guys haven't seen it already. It's straight downhill. 
30 miles downhill. What's the yardage? Yeah, I got 185 from here. Obviously, it's but playing. A, it's playing 160 is what the is what the yardage is actually playing. So there's no wind, which is very good. Club one up and then choke down on it, maybe. Yeah. Here I am saying exactly what to do and watch me not do it. <laughs> Michael, we got nine. Yeah, I don't have a nine. I'm gonna hit eight. I, I like eight, guys. I like eight. Started out at that right bunker, I think. Mm -hmm. About 25, 30 feet. All right, JT with an eight iron here, guys. Good ball. What a yeah, shot. Nice. Oh nice. my. That's it. That's it, folks. All right, so here's the deal that makes me really happy and confident about Micah possibly being able to take the dub in today's match. Hole five here, Micah really needs to make birdie if he wants to tie the hole. Literally needs to make birdie because this is the last hole that JT gets a shot on. So if JT in theory two putts it, which he's not gonna three putt it, Micah needs to make it. For the rest of the holes though, it's a straight up match. So at the very worst, Micah's gonna be going all square into the last four holes. He's got about 40 feet down the hill. And unfortunately, he really just needs to make this putt to have a chance at even tying the hole. It breaks a little left to right a pretty good amount. It's pretty fast down the hill. I think it's more about speed, and if you get the right line, you just got really lucky. I can't tell. Oh, there's the hole. Yeah, it does keep going right. That was okay. a pretty bad putt. I guess our only chance to tie this hole if JT three putts, but I'm not going to wish that upon him. I hope he makes this. I'm thinking right here. I'm thinking it's that little grass patch there too. This is okay. a ton of break, folks. Get this little bug out of here, bro. I don't like you. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at that too. It's <laughs> cramping my style, man. I'm literally crush you and your family. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, go! Ah! Ah! And that was a, man, I tell you what, that, that, was that puts the match back to all square. All right, guys, on to the last four holes. The match is completely squared up. No strokes will be given on the last four holes. So it's time for both of them to dial in. Hopefully, make some birdies. Hole six is a pretty good birdie opportunity, as well as seven and nine. JT's feeling confident here. They're both hitting driver on hole six, which is a par five down the hill. A little dog leg left, and then it kind of straightens out. We got some bunkers, we got some trees, we got some tall grass. I think the goal is just to aim it out right there and hit it pretty straight. Oh, it's going to be all right, though. Yeah, yeah. Come on, ball. It might be okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Micah, kind of the same shot shape you did against me in the match. I'm going to yeah. try to hit that little baby fade. Good ball. Missile! Are you feeling good? Huh? Mm -hmm. Me and JT are feeling good. We're up here on the right side. He's been pretty dialed in, pretty solid so far, so me and JT are gonna get it done. He hits it just about as far as Micah, which is very impressive. Matt and I have been struggling to outdrive Micah. They have about like probably 180, 185 yards in this pin, kind of tucked over the bunker on the right side. Micah's right there, perfectly placed in the fairway. What's the yardage, Mr. Caddy, man? 193. Tiger Woods, I know you've been, I know you've been looking for a caddy. I know you've been, uh, You've been wanting somebody who can be behind you and help you dial in your gameplay, and you're not going to get anybody better than me. I'm cleaning this ball like I clean my teeth. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Down, down. Too much cut. I think I'm all right, though. Apparently, he's still left the car path, so he should just be there in the rough. He'll have a chip to get up and down for birdie. Micah here in the middle of the fairway. Maybe a little less draw than normal. I, I think we go right at it. Yeah. He did that in our match. Michael, what are you doing, bro? See, that's why I was like... That's the hardest place to be too. No, I that's fine. That's fine. Shit. Mike is just right in the bunker. That's a pretty easy flop shot. We both like the, the power flops anyways. What's the deal? Got I got lucky. Got, got lucky, lucky, actually. Yeah. The play is probably going to be, again, if I can do it. The the play is probably going to be right here and let the just the slope take it, take it right. So we'll I see. love that. I love that. So he's going to try and land it in here. Let it run down to the hole. Mike is over there. He, Micah actually luckily has a tiny bit of an upslope to chip over, so he will be able to play a little flat. If we can land it right on that downslope, we're going to have a solid look for birdie. Yeah, I feel like we need to carry it to the green, I don't know. I'm going to try to carry it just to the green, it's a pretty easy shot. It's 
Same, same shot. Yeah. I'm just glad you got a birdie putt. Now it's a putting competition. He's going to give you the line. Hopefully you can make it. Funny enough, I feel like if I have a little speed, it's probably right on it. If yeah. you're trying to go right at it, I'd say that divot's a pretty good line. Oh, oh no, I die. Yeah. JT's in with far. He went right on that perfect line. I thought it was going to scoop underneath there, but dang, dang, dang. Garrett giving him his intermediate target. Hopefully Tig can hit it on that line. Oh, I just, that, yeah, that didn't oh, move at all. It looks like it breaks over the ball, but. Guys, after hole number six, they're all square. All right, guys, on to hole number seven here, which is a par four, a tiny, tiny dog lake. They both got drivers, which is a perfect opportunity. I want to see you make birdie here. Yeah, honestly, shake and bake. Mike is going to just play it up just right at that bunker. I'll tell you. Go ball. I don't know. I think I it might know. be in the bunker. Dang. I like that line, honestly, with you just let your natural shot happen. Oh no! Hold on, ball. Hey, you should be okay though, because I've seen a lot of balls hit up right and kick down late. Mikey, that's not what I like to see, but that's okay. We'll be able to. Oh, JT, that's gonna I'm be pretty, pretty solid right Might be now. in the tall grass. No, we'll be fine. You know, sometimes you have some shaky swings, but you gotta come back. Guys, here's the update. That's where JT's ball is, left side of the fairway. Uh, pretty good spot, probably gonna be about 100 yards away. And then Mike is over here just right of the cart path in a pretty good spot as well. But I mean, obviously not as good as JT. We have about 85 yards, maybe 80, which as he said, we'll be able to spin it. Maybe play just like the little punch cut with the 60. We're gonna max out a 52 degree, get on that top shelf, let it spin back. Man, I tell you what, Tiger, you need a caddy? Let me know. I'm just telling you what. Looking really good. Thank you. I don't even see where it's at. Is it good? Yeah, it's about maybe maybe less than 10 feet. Woo, what a shot by JT. Mike has got to be clutch now. He's got a really good look at birdie. Rip it in there. I should be able to spin this. I want to try to carry it all the way there. Love it. I honestly love this shot, guys. Ah, oh, I chunked it. Mike, uh... I was afraid that was going to happen. It's okay. We need to dial it in, folks. We need to dial it in. That was not what we like to see. I honestly just make, just make it. Yeah, yeah, let's just make it. Simmer. Hold on. Ooh, JT. Hold on. I like this. Well, Michael, we gotta make that. We gotta freaking make that now. JT obviously has his line. Mike is down the hill. It's not it's not too far outside the hole. I like it. Mm. That end of the green got him, guys. I know we didn't need to make birdie, but I'm telling you right now, it smells and feels so darn tootin' good. Me and JT go back to about 03, right? We got, we got the game figured out. We got the game dialed in on a different, completely different level. We're going one up into hole eight, and I'm feeling good. There you have it, JT with a super solid birdie. On to hole eight, which is straight down the hill, par three. Honestly, I just want to see Micah finish with a solid par on eight and a birdie on nine. That's absolutely beautiful hole. Again, Farm Lakes has outdone themselves with the par threes. And I just ranged it. It said it's 235 to the pin, and it's 209 actually, because it's playing, you know, the elevation or whatever. So you got to count for that. But me and JT have agreed it's in the face, so it's probably playing like 220. So he's got his five iron out, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens here. Oh, just tugged it. Tugged it. We're good though. Damn. Okay, good. That was the club. Nice little, nice little chip for par up and down. Um, Tig will be going up next. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling good. Ah, I'll say it again. Me and JT go back. He just played that little hooky. Go. Oh, go. Yes. Whoa, yes. wow, wow. Needed it to go, and it did. Fantastic shot. And you can't even connect. <laughs> All right, what a shot for Micah. He's about 10 feet away for birdie. That, I, that was clutch. That's good, a good shot. All right, so here's where JT's balling it up, just left of the green. He does have a pretty good opportunity to get this one up and down for par. Yeah, He's got a decent amount of green to work here, with. If you want to hit a little higher, somewhere right in here, because it will leak a little yeah, right. It will, it will, it is breaking a little right. And right. Micah, this is where you and I ended up. I mean, it was it was all you, but. Partially me just being there for moral support. I'm still banking on him getting this up and down, so I gotta make this putt. Dang it. All right. 
A little right to left action if he does make it. Mike is going to make this to get it back to all square. This match has been a really good match. If you guys haven't liked for this crazy good play already, the like button is an option. It doesn't look like a lot, man. I don't know if he's a really great green reader, so maybe you should listen to your gut on this one. <laughs> oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. That's a good one. Your read was right. <laughs> on the outside there. Huh? I don't know, for some reason I'm just feeling dialed in with JT. My green reads are actually not too bad. It's usually one of the worst parts of my game, so. Oh. Oh, well JT, that's not a gimme by any means. He is not that's, giving that putt by any means. JT wants uh, to win this. That's match play at its finest. Yeah, no gimmies out here, baby. Uh, Ooh. Well, all square going to the last hole, you guys. This is what you want to see. Things are getting pretty intense here, pretty heated. Here's the situation right now, currently. Mike has a tee box, and I know he brought his th three or four iron in his driver. Scared of hitting a driver here, because I know he can hit it through the fairway, so. What are you feeling? This is a little downwind. I, I think we're going three iron here, guys. Just going to play it up and over that bunker straight away. Good ball. Going out of focus. Yeah. You gonna start at that card, JT, or you be a little, uh, little left of that, and turn it in? Yeah. Right right that's what I'm saying. I'm smart. Right through the little branches, I think. Hey, you know, I guess I'm living right. Let's go! <laughs> what a shot. Two solid balls. It all comes down to this, guys. Wow, this is a close match. We're in the right side of the fairway. Pretty good opportunity to possibly make a little birdie and hopefully shut him out here. This is kind of what we're looking at, guys. Pins over there, front side left on the green. Matt over there on the right side. Michael with a pitching one. I think he started literally at the center of the green. Shot, we got that for bird. Got a birdie putt. Yeah, there. One of five here. What club are we hitting? Uh, going with a 56. I love it. Oh. A little long there. A little flyer. Caddy, caddy, and in our change of speech. How are we thinking about this match? I feel like this has been a really solid, entertaining match for the viewers at home. It's been super close. You've been doing a good job caddying. Imagine Micah going on tour and me caddying for him. Guys, let's make it a series. Uh, Matt? That could be clean. That could be really clean. Here's what he's looking at, guys. JT down the hill. Pretty far away, four par. Micah right there from about 10 feet for birdie. I like our opportunity here. I'll see it going left as soon as it gets on the green. Honestly. I think so. Yeah. I think so. It's gonna jump left immediately. Simmer. All right, we got an uphill putt. I like that. It's a good run. Yeah, and you can tell that they're really f trying to figure out how to make this putt because obviously Michael wants to try to win here, but. Wow. That was a putt. Wow. That was one heck of a putt there, you guys. That was very big. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. That was a, that was a <laughs> one heck of a match, man. What a match that was. That was awesome. Hey, thanks for participating hey, in the video. Thanks so much. That was awesome. Thanks Appreciate guys. you this having us. This hey, guy's a stick. This guy's a stick. Absolutely, they man. Were great. That was so much fun. Yeah. Heck so yeah. Much fun. Well, guys, we're going to close the video out now. Micah obviously took the dub barely on the last hole. Very clutch birdie there. JT is a solid golfer. Played super well today. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Maybe we'll have to do more random matches in the future because that was fun. <laughs> that was a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. That's it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I uh, mean, JT. Again, we go way, way back, about 2002, 2003. Um, I know the man's game, um, and I'm going to see him out on the range, and we're going to work on a couple of things. His putting was, was pretty darn tootin' good. So I was excited to come out here and play, and, and, and boy, I tell you what, he played some good golf.